The Nintendo Switch is great at playing games, but it's a one-trick pony. You probably already knew that. As good of a video game console as it is, it's admittedly lacking in entertainment applications. Unlike Xbox One or PS4, there's not much you can do outside of play video games on the console. There's no Netflix, there's no HBO Go, there's no Crunchyroll, there's no NFL Sunday Ticket if you're a nerd. There are only three non-gaming apps on the Switch right now. There's Hulu, there's YouTube, you know what those are. But there's also Inky Pen, a comic book reader exclusive to the Switch. While I think it's nice to have all of these apps available on the Switch, I ultimately don't think that it's necessary. Nintendo has never been in the business of making an all-in-one entertainment console. Nintendo makes video game systems designed to play video games, something they do very well, I might add. So I don't get why people keep asking for Netflix to come to the Switch, or why they keep asking me to check out Inky Pen. You can already use these apps on other platforms. Hell, you can do it on your phone, which you have with you already. So I'm sorry, I'm just not interested in looking into Inky Pen or any other entertainment app on the Switch. You're gonna have to look somewhere else for that. Seriously, who wants to read comics on the Switch anyway? It's my turn from some of them sweet Switch views. Ever since I first got my Nintendo Switch, I always kind of hoped to become my all-purpose media tablet. In addition to playing games on it, I also thought it would be cool to maybe watch some Netflix, read comics, and even do some light web browsing. Hey, what the f*** are you doing to my chair? That was close. Basically, I only want to take one device with me when I travel instead of having to take both my Switch and my Kindle Fire. First world problems, I know. It's been admittedly slow getting these entertainment apps on the Switch, but we do have some. I mean, we do have Hulu, we do have YouTube, and I'm pretty sure Netflix is coming. I mean, I have it on my Vita, for crying out loud. Slow as hell and I don't recommend it, but at least Netflix is on the damn thing. Comixology is probably the biggest name in digital comics. Unfortunately, they're not on the Nintendo Switch. However, a small independent company called Inky Pen is. So can this up and coming app service be the definitive comic book experience on Nintendo's platform? Let's, let's get into that. So, elevator pitch. Inky Pen is an app from the Nintendo Switch that gives you all you can read access to hundreds and hundreds of comics, all for $7.99 a month. Basically, it's like Netflix streaming, but for comics. The app is available worldwide, but the content is currently only in English. So if you can understand what I'm saying, you can understand the stuff on Inky Pen. So what exactly does this service have to offer? Well, quite a lot, actually. There are a lot of big name publishers on here, like Valiant, Dark Horse, IDW, Archie, Dynamite, Titan, smaller publishers like Paper Cuts and Humanoid, and even some comic strips like Peanuts and Calvin and Hobbes. And Dilbert. Kids still read Dilbert, right? They don't have everything from every publisher, and much like Netflix, they don't carry the latest and greatest. And a lot of the licensed books from like Dynamite and IDW aren't on there, but you will not be starved for content. There's a lot to read here and not get bored. Like they don't have every volume of Hellboy, but they've got the first 10, so you'll be good with Hellboy content, at least until the movie comes out. Using the app is pretty simple and straightforward. You log in from the home screen and you're immediately brought to the Discover page upon first use. From here, you can browse their featured comics and they have quite a few on their front page alone. If you can't find exactly what you're looking for, a quick tap of the R button will bring you to the search page where you can search for exactly what you're looking for. Selecting a title brings you to its page where you can choose any issue or volume from that series. Just select one and press A and you're ready to begin reading. Comics are presented in one of two ways on Inky Pen. The first way is called book form. Here, two pages of the comic book are shown on screen at the same time. You use the left analog stick or swipe the screen left to right to turn the page. Using the right analog stick zooms in and lets you free look around the two pages. The second viewing method is called scroll view. Here, the entire screen is filled with one page of the comic. You start from the top and actually scroll your way down to the bottom. It gives you less to see all at once, but I think it gives you a clearer view of the action and dialogue. 
This is actually my preferred method for reading comics on Inky Pen. I mean, if you think about it, that's how we read comics normally. You start at the top and work your way down. And is represented here in a really interesting and intuitive way. It's really easy to use and get into. But it's not ideal. It may be fine if you're reading comics on your TV, but who does that? Seriously, are you reading comics on DC Universe from your television? Why? Anyway, ideally, there should be an option for you to be able to hold your Switch vertically and flip through the pages like you would on a Kindle or an iPad. You know, simulating an actual book. I'm sure there's probably some technical reason why they can't do this, and I know the Switch's bezel is absurdly big for a screen that size, so that might have played into it in some capacity. But the screen is still not that much smaller than an 8-inch Kindle Fire, which is what this is. And I can read full-page comics on this just fine. Hell, I can read full-page comics on my iPhone 6. I don't, but I could if I wanted to. Another issue with Inky Pen, which you may have noticed already, the big three comic publishers are not on there, so no Marvel, no DC, and no Image. Also, no Boom Studios, no Oni Press, no Fantagraphics, no Zenoscope, so sorry for all you people who like Sexy Alice in Wonderland, and Sexy Robin Hood, and Sexy Jungle Book, apparently. And that might be a deal breaker for you. Not having access to Marvel, DC, or Image Comics is pretty significant. Especially when you consider that Comixology's equivalent, Comixology Unlimited, also offers Netflix-style access to thousands of comics for $5.99 a month, and they have the big three publishers on there. And it's also on more platforms than just the Nintendo Switch. Inky Pen is only for the video game console. You can't put it on your phone or your tablet or your laptop. Now, I think it's important to remember that the team behind Inky Pen is not a very big one. It's just a couple of guys and gals from Norway. These guys and gals, in fact. So it's not like they have instant access to all the top publishers, although the publishers they do have on the service is pretty impressive, not gonna lie. And they're still only on version one of their software. So it's still possible that they could update it in the future and add things like vertical reading and other quality of life improvements. Like not telling me I disconnected from the internet even though I know I'm still connected. So, in summary, is Inky Pen a good service? Well, actually, yes. It's really easy to use and sign up for, and they have a lot of great comics on there. Like I said before, you're pretty much guaranteed not to get bored. But is the value there? $7.99 a month is a lot to ask for for a subscription service that's only available on one platform and that doesn't even have access to some of the biggest names in comics. I mean, let's look at the competition that's out there. Comixology Unlimited, again, is cheaper per month, is available on more devices, and has more publishers in their catalog, so they have more titles available. Also, you have the Comixology Store, where you can buy comics a la carte if you're so inclined. You got things like Prime Reading, which is included in your Amazon Prime subscription. You have things like Marvel Unlimited, which is $9.99 a month, but it gives you access to virtually every Marvel comic ever. And then there's something like DC Universe, which is also $7.99 a month, like Inky Pen, but doesn't have as many comics as Inky Pen does, but it more than makes up for it with great movies and television shows available. As it stands right now, I can really only recommend Inky Pen to somebody who's into comics and who only has a Nintendo Switch as their mobile device. Maybe if you have a kid who likes to read comics but you don't feel comfortable giving them an iPad, this might be a good solution. Of course, if you do that, just make sure you set the content filter to the appropriate age, because there's some, some adult things on there, surprisingly. But otherwise, as of right now, you honestly might be better off carrying another device with you to get your comic book fix in between game sessions. At least until they can work out some of the kinks and add some more titles to it. And definitely add in vertical reading. I think that would go a long way. But what do you think about Inky Pen and the idea of reading comics on the Nintendo Switch? Does this idea intrigue you? Do you think it's dumb? Do you want to see other entertainment apps on the system or am I the only one? Let me know down below or anywhere on the internet. I mean, seriously, they have the germ of a good idea in there. Just add vertical reading, work out some of the other kinks, add more titles, maybe lower the price and you got something great. Unless Comixology comes to the Switch, in which case, 
you're screwed. Of course, don't forget that we have new videos every Tuesday and Wednesday, and Wednesday night at 8 p.m. Eastern is always Wolf Den Live. So subscribe to see all of that, like this video, and share it with a friend, a friend who reads comics and owns a Nintendo Switch. They're out there, and I'm sure they also would like to read comics on their Nintendo platform. It's not just me, I know it's not just me. Thank you all for watching. I will see you next time.